Now, as we're seeing demand start to recover, uh, there's hopes of a vaccine that's going to see a return to some form of normality over the next 12 months. We've seen a recovery in gas prices. If we go back to what I was talking in May, we saw the lows. Where we are now, we've probably recovered. European and Asian prices are probably three times where they were in May. US prices have recovered between 40 to 50 percent. And what we're seeing now, if you look at the actual chart, it's kind of like a V-shaped recovery. Um, we heard that talked about in other economies, but what we've seen in gas is the gas market has definitely experienced a sort of V-shaped recovery. Now, moving into this winter and the remaining few months of the winter, of course, uh, what's going to drive the prices now is namely supply. We're seeing reasonably stable supplies from Russia. Uh, Norwegian supply is also uh, relatively stable and production in the UK is relatively strong. So no real concerns on, on that front. I think the main concern will come from the weather. Uh, at present, we're seeing the weather now out until the end of March. No really uh, significant cool spells expected. But as we know, that can change. And if we had a polar vortex type episode, then we'd need to be concerned if the LNG levels are not like last year. Uh, and of course, if we are still under some form of lockdown, you'd expect residential demand uh, or heating demand to be a lot higher. Um, we've seen that already in several instances over the recent months, where due to the enhanced occupancy rates of domestic residences, any significant cold spell or even just a few days has seen heating demand start to ramp up. So all in all, I think where we sort of leave this is moving forward, I think weather is going to play a key part in price movement. And we've seen that over recent weeks. We were thinking December was going to be quite mild, but recent weather forecast revisions have revised that lower and we've seen prices adjust higher uh, accordingly. I think, as I mentioned, storages are very healthy. Uh, we are now above or around the five year average. And in terms of looking back these last five years, only last year had did we have higher amount of storages uh, across Northwest Europe. Similar story in Ukraine now, we have the new customs warehouse regime where non-Ukrainian residents are invited to store gas at uh, lower prices for up to three years as well. Currently, we don't see the price incentives uh, for Ukrainian storages to start bringing back gas back into Europe, but we can see that happening if the supply signal comes. LNG, again, is going to fall on Asian demand. Will Asia absorb, absorb even that excess supply? Uh, if not, then we're going to see even more cargoes coming to Northwest Europe. So really what we're looking at at the moment is a kind of sideways look in terms of price movement but there will be a lot of volatility and i think one of the main concerns will be uh, a severe cold snap anyway i'm wayne bryant thank you very much